Now we need to create the report, but this time instead of going over to the Create Tab Report Wizard, we're going to go straight to the Labels option. Now all I need is to scroll down to um, any option here under Product Number that says Avery and has two across, because that's what we're asked for in the question. We do Avery labels here, and we're asked in the question to have two labels side by side. If you want to change the formatting, you can, but I'm quite happy just leaving it with the default. I know everything will print right that way. Now this screen is how we get those four fields onto the label. We click code and then push it across. But we're asked to place each of these fields on a separate line. So if I press enter, you can see that shaded area has moved to the next line. So I can then get product, enter, price, enter, and notes. Press next. We're also asked to sort these labels in ascending order of product. So I'm going to click product and send it across. And by default, the sorting is done in ascending order here in the report. So I can just press next. Now this is the name of the report. I'll show you what happens if I type the name of the report as mentioned in the paper, ICTC Special Products, then click Finish. Now what we can see here is that the name of the report itself is done. I can see it over here in the objects bar. But we don't actually have that as the heading for our uh, labels themselves, which was actually requested. So if we close the print preview, what I'm going to do is create a little bit of room at the top here. I'm in the design view by default when I clicked out a print preview. So if I just click each field in turn, hold the control key down so I can select multiple fields, and then with the downwards arrow, just move it down a little bit to create some room at the top. Now I'm going to choose the label control and click once. This time, I'm going to write the heading that needs to be on every single label, making sure, of course, that the spelling is correct. Now, it's not centered, so the easiest way to do this is to click the label, and when it's got the orange line around it, I'm just going to nudge it to the left with the left arrow key. So now it's aligned against the left-hand edge of all my other fields. And then I'm going to click and drag so it's aligned against the right hand edge. Now when I go to the Format tab, I can then centre what's in that label. We're also asked to have our name, etc. at the left of the bottom of the label. So again, I'm going to go to the Design tab, Label. Click once, don't worry about the positioning of it just yet. Type your details. Click away once, click again, and now the easiest way again is using that arrow keys, or using the arrow keys on your keyboard, just nudge it around until it works. Now when we go to print preview, we can see that every single label has a heading. It also Each label also has our details. And when we look at the products, which is this second field, the second line in the label, sorry, we can see that they are actually in alphabetical order.